My name is Yandi Villalonga and I am a physical therapist assistant from Lake Superior College. Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm also a physical therapist assistant from Lake Superior College. Today we're going to be presenting and talking about the standing frame. We're going to talk about what kinds of treatment can be done and what kinds of patients will be using a standing frame. Patients who have multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, spina bifida, and strokes often use the standing frame. And uh, we should know when to take precautions and when to be aware of contraindications, uh, especially when, when we treat patients that present osteogenesis imperfecta, uh, severe contractures, or osteoporosis, and cardiac and circulatory issues, we should be, care be careful with them because we could hurt them and cause problems. Now, Nicole and I, we're going to demonstrate how to uh, transfer a patient from the wheelchair to the standing frame. And we're going to use a technique that is called a uh, squat pivot. So you want to make sure that the patient doesn't have any uh, pump, pump to pump the medications and uh, any fitting tubes. And if they do, you want to adjust the gate bell so we don't disconnect them because we want to keep those things connected and uh, we want to provide this safety for the patient. And um, so I'm gonna have Nicole um, bring your chest forward and put the plate, gate bill on here. You want to, want to make sure it's tight at the pelvis level. You want to make sure that the armrest is out of the way, that the wheels are locked, the brakes are locked, and that the wheelchair is in an angle toward the standing frame. And then you can have the patient scoot forward, and then using good body mechanics, you're gonna stand up at the count of three okay. and pivot, okay? okay? So one, two, three, stand up, and pivot and now feel the the chair with the back of your legs and lower yourself down slowly good and now you will help the patient to position himself using good body mechanics bring the arm rest down and strap the patient at the waist level Take the gate bell out so you don't compress um, the gate bell on her belly or abdomen muscles. Let's put it here. Oh. And I'm gonna move the wheelchair back so you can see better what we're doing. Okay, so the next thing is like. Sometimes you can um, provide a stretch to the gastric muscles by adjusting these uh, feet restings and you can bring them down into a uh, plantar flexion or dorsiflexion by using this Allen wrench and adjust, adjusting it here. But in this case we're not going to adjust it because the patient is good and we don't, we don't need to provide a stretch. So we're going to keep it in a neutral uh, position. So we're going to strap the feet. And we're going to provide some cushion at the level of the knees. Uh, so we provide stabi stability at that area. That area. And then um, I think we're ready to go up, so we're going to go up slowly, always checking on the patient to see how they are doing, because this, the change of position can make them dizzy or fatigue. So how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. 
So we're going to raise them up all the way. How are you doing? Yeah. Okay, so you want to make sure that the patient is standing in a neutral position, uh, nice and straight. You want to provide a bell in case uh, the patient needs you, and also a medicine or some reading material so the patient doesn't get bored and the treatment time is going to be uh, 30 minutes of treatment. Once the treatment is over, um, you can come and lower the patient down. You're going to do it slowly by pulling the lever to the back like this and you want to stop and check on the patient how they are feeling for the same reasons because sometimes they can get dizzy. So how do you like this? So you want to keep lowering the cell, the patient's down. Right there. Okay. And now we're gonna unstrap the patient. Uh, put the gate bell without disconnecting anything. Okay, so I'm gonna have to for it. Make sure it's tight at the pelvis level. And we're going to need the wheelchair for the wheels are locked, the wheelchair is in an angle, we're going to move the armrest and then um, I'm going to have the, the patient scoot to the side. Okay. So we're going to use the same technique, squat pivot, so at the count of three, you're going to stand up and pivot, okay? So one, two, three. You're going to take some baby steps, pivot. Fill the chair with the back of your legs and lower yourself down using your arms and legs. And that will be it. So you want to uh, make sure you use good body mechanics and you provide safety for the patient. And that will be good. <laughs>